Yep. Oh my god, I'm being chased by a motorcycle. <laughs> He's level 90. Uh, that, that, num that number is mind-boggling to me. I wonder, can I challenge him to a duel? Yes, I could. <laughs> that is a number that up till now has been impossible in my head. <laughs> but now I've seen it. I, I don't should know come I visit like it. with my level 90 and just say, say hi. Just it force you to confront it. Uh, what hey, characters hey, does Keith up? have? Yeah. Wait, wait, guys, get off your mounts for a second. Get off your mounts, yeah, I want to try this. What? Party grenade! Yay. Wait, fucking really? <laughs> wait, I'm doing a... Th okay, I am actually dancing. It forces us to dance? Apparently. For a minute. Or you could just completely invalidate it and leave, because, you know, uh -huh. let's go. This is terrifying. I look terrifying <laughs> crouched down with the eye patch. Like, not cool. I have no steering capabilities. No death perception. That'd be great if the eye patch actually, like, if I could put it on as... Was that a... Oh. That, was that a what? That was a high-level horde. Yep. Or I don't Max know if level. it was high-level or not, but that was a horde. Higher yeah, level we were, than us, Blood Elf Hunter. We were in Northrend. Remember when all of the quest oh, yeah. givers were slain by that <laughs> yeah. one horde guy? We we were questing last night uh, on our middle mid they, they used high to be level daily characters. routine. Yeah, so we just get into um. Well, we get this quest where it's like there are cultists in Northrend. You know, you have to go suss them out, and you go to the oh, like there's leader. A, there's something back there. I could have handed in. <sighs> so, yep, the ta the tavern guy has a quest. Oh, you're right. Uh, he wants so, to get five rut blossom, so you which go also to. Also, sounds not cool and cancery. <laughs> yep, you go to you go to the like leader to tell him about the cultists, and he he and his entire entourage is dead. And I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of a cool way of doing storytelling, where the act uh, you're like too late and whatever. Nope, just oh, turns out there's a blood elf rogue running around stabbing everybody. It says to go what? get rot blossom over where we killed the over where we dealt with that one boss and okay. the skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> That's. We are not doing this in the ideal order. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, How look, close are you to Jenkins? Level... Oh well, Jenkins is a title, actually. Yeah, I I figured as much. Uh, Shell, did you already go south? <laughs> no, nope, not yet. I'm just selling okay. things quickly. He's inside the house. Okay. Being slow and useless. Oh. <laughs> Here, I'll come out. I just need to make sure my inventory was slightly cleared out so we wouldn't have any issues. But I gave you so many big bags. What are you doing <laughs> with them? You I've got to eat for my buff, you guys. It's important. Sure, yeah. Yum, 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 This yum, is what yum. I think of your buff. Gross. <laughs> Stop sitting on me. It's gross. <laughs> but I was sitting on your lap. You had a bear hug. This okay, is poor hygiene. <laughs> a bear fart. Oh, wait. Shell's already gone. Yep. Nasty furry butt. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go back down there again. Hey, yeah, yep. you have to get Rot Blossom. Gotta get that Rot Blossom. Bloody rat Blossom. Well, That's gonna have us can... killed even more slightly different werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually completely forgot that we were killing werewolves there. It's just killing generic NPCs. <laughs> and I, I remember got... when we when we used to we used to play as a. Uh, as our horde, we'd run around in uh, barrens, and then we'd just wander off into the neighboring zone and just slaughter all of the human NPCs. <laughs> like, gotta kill them, in gotta kill all them alliance. I, I have decent memories of just, like, showing up uh, in the middle of Wrath of the Lich King and taking out an entire town. Much to many players' just unhappiness. Mine. You motherfucker. <laughs> We're not, we are no longer friends. Alright, I can go in cat, cat mode and go even faster. Enjoy Yay. being in combat while I loot all the stuff. You dick. Yay! Woo! Yay! Suck God it. damn it. <laughs> so how many Lucky characters Lucky. do you have elsewhere, Keith? He Zero. sold his account. Oh, right. I, this is my first time having a WoW account in several years. Okay. Like, this mage is probably going to aggro on me, so just, just take care of him. Except for now he can't sell it because it's attached to his Hearthstone and his uh, Diablo and his Starcraft. Yep. Games. Also, no one would buy this. It's true. Unless I become internet famous. <laughs> that would actually be really funny. You get to be like, um... I'm suddenly you know, such a famous WoW player that people want to buy my <laughs> account for one million dollars. Uh, well, uh, I sell my account directly to Bill Gates. 
I actually saw people offering to, wow, geez, these guys have cleaned this area out. Because uh, Bill Gates saw, is the type of guy that has time for wow. I saw people <laughs> trying to bribe their way onto the Game Grumps guild. <laughs> they have a guild? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're going to be playing Draenor. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. they're gonna play, are they going to play Draenor on the channel? I don't think so. I think they're just playing it because that would be like that would be the longest series in the history of Game Grumps. I don't. I don't think they'd record more than a couple episodes. Yeah, they don't really make it far in most things. Nope. I, I, I remember was... when they started a series on Shenmue. I don't think they made it out of the house. <laughs> Shenmue? I, what is I that? I think that's actually true. Shenmue is. Uh, it might have. The, the record might have been broken more recently because Destiny is pretty nuts, but. For a long time, Shenmue was, when adjusted to it for inflation, the most expensive video game of all time, Ooh. as far as production goes. Yeah, it's mm. a dream. It was a Dreamcast exclusive, sort of adventure game, where like this, you play as this guy named Ryu Hazuki, who, uh, like his he his father owned a dojo in Japan, and he gets murdered by some crazy guy named Shen Long with a with a weird like ornate like green robe and shit. And you're like you're trying to solve his murder and hunt this guy down and stuff, but like it's mostly just like it's it was weirdly mundane in a way that like David Cage games tend to be like Heavy Rain and and uh, the other game with Alan Page, <laughs> uh, where like you would do like daily life type stuff during there. Like in that game, you would get a job. Huh. Mm, sounds also, mundane. we should go in the cave. And, uh, it's also well, the first. It was the game that 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 ever, as far as I know, was the first game to either have or at least the first game to popularize uh, quick time events. Yep, it was and, fairly revolutionary for its time. Honestly. Oh yeah, what the? It was, it, was a, it was a weirdly realistic way of representing things too. Keith, I've been turned <laughs> into a worgen. Wait, what? The <laughs> tainted okay, ones will turn you into a worgen temporarily. But a naked one, and I'm now walloping people with a staff, and it's making claw cat noises. No. This is very confusing. It's the nudie bot. <laughs> I mean, I have it's pants. The beginning on, of but... Waterbot's long, long and fruitful career as a male stripper. <laughs> oh yeah, it is in fact the same. Um, it's the same curse. This is one of those night elves. That's like dead or something. I don't know. Fucking the Super story worthy in that we can get cursed. Yeah, I, I do find that hilarious yeah. that that even happens. It'd be it'd be great if the Worgens were just friendly and you can't I'm, do these quests. <laughs> I remember when back in the day uh, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's in it now but if you found a vein like that and it was orange difficulty you could actually fail over and over again at mining it and keep having I to remember. restart. It doesn't it actually so work that way anymore. Yeah well it also all goes in one now. Yeah. Now it just means that it's worth more experience for your uh, reputation, for your, uh, for your profession. It's gonna be if we keep do if we keep doing instances, it'll actually be relatively tough to do uh, to keep up with my skills. Uh, usually what I do world very much. as soon as I hit sixty, I go back and get my crafting skills up to like outland levels, and then it's all right because you don't level very fast instance wise once you're in the outlands. You're, you're abandoning shell to die. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna be okay. I can always heal myself. <laughs> it's just funny that watching him train old, run past you while you're fighting, and also train more guys over so they also aggro on you, and he just kept running. <laughs> like, yeah. you monster. <laughs> <laughs> she has to learn someday. <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened. <laughs> For learning things Actually, about your totally relationship, bad. Wander. <laughs> Once in Borderline Guild Wars, abusive. I was running past all these enemies sounds, and sounds like someone... we have some abandonment issue issues. <laughs> and uh, so in Guild Wars 2, I was running past all these enemies, and this one person was uh, doing this quest where you have to revive uh, these injured uh, individuals laying on the ground. And I was just going to the next Blitz event, so I actually had quite a few people behind me, and they interrupted her, and I felt so bad. Woot, I, I just do. got a message saying pizza's on the way. Ooh, hey, look at I that. Like Thundering... That's a fucking cool mount. Yep, yep, that's from Pandaria. Is that the oh, rain's... Oh, and I started yep. moving like that. It's the Thundering <laughs> Onyx one. Yeah, that one's super rare if I remember right. I'm not into this. I'm not really into the Chinese dragon mount concept, but I, I am into the uh, 
the crazy lightning. uh lightning yeah the nether drake appearance basically yep I, I i had a nether drake back when you had to farm for like weeks on end doing daily quests on a specific part of outlands to get one it was the coolest thing ever it had 300 percent flight speed yep. and it blew people's minds and then it became not so important anymore <laughs> yep because everybody had that flight speed is 310 still the max? Yes, it is. Oh, well, wow. They haven't gone any, really much any faster. Nope. I think That's after a certain point, it would just be a problem for people loading. Yeah, it'd make, it, that's already a problem in a lot of current generation games and a lot of stuff. I'm continuing to just collect all of... My, oh, no, I didn't mean to sell that. There we go. I'm, I'm stockpiling all of the cloth and ore that I find so I can use... Uh, so I can do my professions. Yeah, I just mail all of my stuff to an alt, so I don't have to worry <laughs> about it clogging my inventory. I ain't got no alts though, man. Well, you should make one. It takes like two minutes. Nah. <laughs> I remember playing Diablo where, uh, was it? If you made alts for your, you would, people would make alt banks, but you had to like, if you didn't pl if you didn't sit there in town and like, pl and like, technically quote unquote like play as them for a long period of time, then like they would just disappear. Oh, yeah, really? I remember. It was not fun. Your characters had like 10 day time limits or something, or, was, or maybe even 7 day time limits, where if you didn't log in during that period of time, the character would be deleted if they yep. had been played for X number of hours, or if they weren't like certain level, I think. Mm -hmm. The people would I make bank characters that. to hold on to everything, but then like if you went on a trip, you'd have to have someone else log into your account to refresh them, otherwise they'd get deleted. I and think all that was the point where I stopped being serious about Diablo. I just had one character in open battle net that I just cheated with because I didn't care. I think Blizzard made an announcement that they're going to be deleting World of Warcraft accounts that haven't been logged no. in since... Nope, what was they're it? deleting your names. So, the names. So say if you have an old account that you're not using anymore, your characters will still be there, they'll just be nameless and you'll have to give them a new name. If you uh, come back to it after all this time? Yeah, yeah. If, if you haven't logged in since That's like 2008, so six years... I've reached level 25. But realistically, we, most people should be exempt from that because they've played Gotta recently. go back to that, that freaking... Abercrombie. Abercrombles. Clabbercrombles. A clique or like clan girls. Oh, sweet. Status symbol to have Abercrombie and Fitch clothing. Yep, I I'm remember. Like, Ew. I don't remember because I've never been aware of any forms of fashion things. No more gone. Oh, or, or no, I'm Nomergon? still headed towards the quest, dude. Me too. Ah. Well, I mean, I'm. What? Deal with it. Already. It's what happens Almost when you have there. a tank in the party. Everybody's just like, yes. We need this. It's important. <laughs> Also, they have drastically changed changed Nomergon. You no longer have to deal with the bullshit with the keys. Do you remember the hey, bullshit what? with the keys? Yes. Those don't you even exist where, anymore. You mean part where in, the part where interesting things happen and you had to think about what you were doing instead of just like bulldoze through some hallways and then leave? Uh, <laughs> well, prepare to bulldoze. <laughs> that pause. What do glyphs do? Oh. I do not have any glyphs, though, do I? There you guys are. Well, how do I get to professions? I don't know how. Who's healing? Another druid. Oh god, it's a it's a chihuahua wolf. <laughs> there are so many tabs, I can't even find my own professions, can I? I get so confused by this game. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't. There's so many buttons now. <laughs> I just don't. How do you how do you get to your professions? Press P and then go to the professions tab on the bottom of the spellbook. Oh, there's also tabs on the bottom. I got distracted by all the ones on the right. Yep. <laughs> there's tabs on multiple parts of the screen. Why would you do that? Game needs to chill. I'm just gonna put these on my quick bar so I can find them. Oh, I'm gonna man. go for Grubbus and then we're gonna go down. There we go. Oh shit, you guys are leaving. Was there I mean, only one catch quest? Up. Yes, it's one yeah, of those okay. where it's a quest chain. Oh. Stay on top of things, bro. 
I'm yeah. just imagining everyone with their oboes and clarinets going, yes. I can't remember, does WoW play. work like every other RPG where, like, does does doing professions give you experience? Yes. Uh, certain ones do, certain ones don't. Mining does, leather working, be... or skinning does not. Ah. Because you so, use... So what you're saying is they're prejudiced. Yes, because you could use skinning to more or less bolter, uh, bolter, bolster experience you get from monsters, which would be Not maybe th a little bit too much. more disappointing than building up a combo and then missing the finisher. Yes. Practically soul-crushing. Gotta take this fool out. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Am I healing myself? I'm totally healing myself. Whoops. True champion, everyone. I meant to kick, is but I hit shift. There? I hit the shift button, so I did I the, the self-healing finisher instead. Actually, I have no idea if the you. boss is even going to be. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just Yo, bro, making sure that the boss this. is even here. Are you running away? I'm looking for a boss. Oh, he's not there. Well, you're the, you're the worst tank. I'm gonna make some bandages. I mean, I'm just crafting some bandages. This isn't weird, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna, like every time we pause, I'm just gonna hit craft again on linen bandages and see if I can get through all of them while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a consummate professional, I don't know if you've been keeping up. <laughs> a true professional. You know, someday you are going to be a semi-professional YouTuber, and it's just going to be, like, actually... I, I find that seriously unlikely. I don't know. I've been doing this a lo so long See with guys. no sense of success. <laughs> well, well, Carl, how are you doing that? See you guys. Float bear. <laughs> we can't jump? <laughs> float bear. What? How did you float? Was that a thing you picked up? Oh. Float bear. Oh, wait, did, they, did he survive? <laughs> yeah, he survived. He did. Yeah, we have a we have a parachute in our inventory. <laughs> oh, I didn't use it. <laughs> did you just jump off and die? No, I didn't die. Oh, You're well, close. Well, I'm getting really, really clobbered. If I'm not, I'm healing I, myself. I I saved you, but uh, float bear. Float bear. <laughs> I, was, I, I was forgot about wolf. the parachute. I remember we the were parachute. we were the Macy's Day Parade for furries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the healer, too, come to think of it. It was the Macy's Day parade. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, You're Keith. welcome for that. That's what you needed. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's why they paid me the big bucks of 0. <laughs> $0.00 dollars per view. Because <laughs> I still don't have any advertisements on my, on my channel. <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, good for the moment, because well, I mean, it would be a there... deterrent otherwise. Okay, yeah, we're looking I just, for I just don't have a over to put them on. Where the heck is Gloop Glop? Because I have a larger channel that gets more views per day, and that one that gets shit ad, ad revenue. So there's, I just know there's no actual worthwhile reason to enable yet. I'm surprised Sad Games. I I guess I'm not that surprised Sad Games gets that much better views. Oh, I've just I've just been looking is. at like larger channels. It's also and been realizing. around since 2011. It's true. I've been looking at larger channels, and a lot of them actually have far less views per day than I do. Weird. Which, yeah. I, I was talking to one, and he's like, yeah, I won't collab with you until you're my size. And I'm like, dude, I'm technically doing better than you are. <laughs> I saw a channel that had uh, 90,000 subscribers, and every video they put up got like one or 2,000 views. That's that's rough. It's that's because like... they it's because they basically cheated. Oh. It was a chance. When when I, I went, whenever I see that stuff, I sort by most popular to see what it is. Because oftentimes it's something like Sad Games, where it's just like... Their most popular show is just a really niche thing, and whenever they don't make that thing, no one watches it. Yep. Ah, the blue isn't my class, but these linen bandages are. <laughs> but uh, like for us, like Tokyo Jungle is a big deal. So when we, when we make videos that aren't Tokyo Jungle, they don't do as well, obviously. But there's people who uh, what this guy did is he cheated by making it so that his uh, uh everything on his channel, uh, like what he did is about a year ago he uploaded trailers to like dozens of movies. Oh. So people subscribed for all these HD trailers, which are oh. completely illegitimate things to put on your channel, and yep. then he's and then he's like, now he's a Let's Play channel. I mean, I guess it kind of so, worked considering his still yeah, a thousand like, views so, on each. Yeah, like the way it works is basically like he he has a very inactive audience because it's such an illegitimate audience, but it still worked at get like cheating his way to having a successful YouTube thing, basically. Because <laughs> like. Like people would not get that many views otherwise because it's it actually takes a while to grow like that Yep, so he is getting thousands of views for every video because he sort of cheated his way there by uploading movie trailers to his channel 
That is still pretty scummy. Like if I oh, saw yeah, that, super scummy. If I saw that on your channel, I'd probably not stop giving you shit for it. Yeah. Reminds me of Sad Games, where our most popular videos ever are character creator videos for Saints Row Three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I disappointed. Like fun. I bought Saints Row Four to play with TLE, and then he quit YouTubing. <laughs> Nailed it. Yep. Bro, so pro. <laughs> oh well. I'll just play Saints Row with somebody else. Yeah, it's a fun game. Yeah, I figured. It's just, I don't know anybody else that has it. Except for you, but you've already done it, so whatever. Yeah. I have it on basically everything. Well, I have, uh... Yeah, I have three. I have both three and four on PC and PlayStation 3. Didn't they hand uh, both out for free on PS Plus, though? Uh, they handed out three for free. Oh, okay. I picked up four. I got, it for, I got it used from Gamefly, so it was like $14. Because Gamefly passes out games like candy. It's actually cool. really neat getting used... It's, getting, it's neat getting used games there, because there's all these... There's all these scummy things that uh, publishers have been adding to games to make it unhealth... Like, to make it... Uh, to disincentivize buying used games, because they're like, mm -hmm. but you got to get the online pass if you want to be able to play online and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, what happens is you can, uh, if you get a game from Gamefly and no one's ever had that disc before, I mean, no one's ever had the case before because they just sent out the disc in a sleeve to everybody that's renting it. Hmm. But, like, but when you buy a game, it's it's packaged in its original packaging. Like, you can even see where they just slid open the plastic wrap to, to uh, get the game out to rent to people. Like, when you buy a game, they just pop it back in its original case and send it to you. So all the, like packed in like stuff like packed in codes for online passes are still in there mm. that's un, actually un, really cool and they're unused yeah those codes are pretty necessary so you, so you get you basically get to have your key your cake and eat it too because you get your on, you get the online pass with your used copy of the game yeah oh, i, admit, I really, never really looked into that service i was really bummed when well you're they... not really a console player much true changed i think they changed origin or something for the mass effect games so oh. here I had gotten the collector's edition of Mass Effect 2, and I had actually gone out to Wegmans and found three older Pepsi bottles just to get those special skins for the headgear. I was like, yes, <laughs> I have the codes and everything. I, I redeemed them. They were all there, all set. I've got the power. But then when I tried to play Mass Effect 2 after, you know, one or two years, you know, college gets in the way and whatnot, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, you have to create a new account. And I'm like, but, but then all those things, I I couldn't even redeem the codes from my uh, collector's edition anymore. I've gone this far without, pretty much without touching Origin. All I've ever done on Origin is SimCity, which was I'll, a mistake to buy, because that game is a, an abomination on man. I'll actually be honest. After the like initial like everybody hates Origin thing, um, it, except for the fact that it's a separate service for Steam, I actually don't mind it. Like, it's actually kind of a nice service. It looks nicer than Steam. I've just never Loads had a reason to use it, Steam. really, so I've completely avoided all the growing pains. Yeah. Well, so, uh... I, the, I well, only installed it just to run SimCity. I mean, SimCity. Oh, no, we, we do want to go this should, way. It should be called SimCity. <laughs> that would actually be really cool. SimCity, which is... It, it's essentially SimCity, but SimCity-themed. It like, took you almost actually... an entire year to, act, to reactivate Cheetah Mode. That's obnoxious. Like that mode was taken out on like day one because it was because the, the, the servers couldn't keep up with people playing on that on that mode basically, and then they t they brought it back like a year later. Yep. It was baffling. The game was so broken. Yeah, I, unfortunately, not all of EA is uh, functional, which is kind of a darn shame. I had to just give up on it basically, because when you you would make like sewage systems and stuff like that and power systems and everything and you could even go in a view where you would see the power literally move through the pipes and everything but like it had to actually reach stuff like it wasn't seeing like the the little balls moving around on the pipes and stuff was not just a representation of like what you were supplying it was literally like those balls themselves were exactly what supplies like they had to reach buildings and then disappear to supply that building with power or sewage or whatever the fuck and so, like, if they didn't if they didn't make it because they were taking random paths, basically, then that's th that thing would just not get power. 
that's a little disappointing. Like, so you you would you would like massively overproduce for power, or like roads that were that would take care of traffic by having too, a crazy amount of lanes and a ton of paths to take, and the game's like pathing system would just ignore that stuff, and it would it would, like the game has built in uh, inefficiencies that you can never escape, and so the game's just inherently broken. That's kind of disappointing. Like there's, there were so many gifs and videos and stuff of like people making 50 billion amazing roads to, in every direction with a crazy network so that no, there couldn't possibly have traffic problems, and every car is taking one road, and so no one can. No, all the cars are stuck in traffic, and like all the like all the your all your houses are burning down because fire trucks are stuck in traffic on the one road everyone insists <laughs> on using for some reason. Because oh. everyone's just ignoring the every everyone's just ignoring every other possible path. That's really disappointing. It's so baffling. I will admit, I was never good at the Sim City games, so I never really got into them. Same thing with The Sims. It almost reminds me of my brother and how he used to make a, a roller coaster tycoon, where if you made it so that every time you exited a ride, you had to go on to the next ride, people would start complaining, we can't find the exit, we can't find the exit. And it's like, yeah. you, you have to pay your way to every ride to get out. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it was just, oh, 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 you know, that oh. the kind of cruelty there. So of course, guys... everyone loved... Well, but, oh, what? where's the parachute? Float bear. <laughs> float bear, float, float bear. <laughs> There's float the parachute. Bear, float, float bear, float bear, float bear, float <laughs> bear. Uh, am I gonna... Where am I gonna land? Uh-oh. You guys love it. <laughs> I was wondering if that was gonna happen to me. You can Yay. probably just hop down and be totally fine. No, I'm just gonna stay up here. This is my home now. The druid seems to have crashed somehow. No oh, one can shoot. get me here. Whee! Hey, I landed up here now. Still inaccessible. What? Where are you? Don't worry, I can throw stuff at people. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I heard on that you. thing. Are you okay, Carl? What? You're what? 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 You're oh, he did. Mashing into the uh, column there. I, I mean, I was going on adventures. His bear's <laughs> got the downs. A little bit. And the ups, but mostly the downs. <laughs> He's doubling down on the downs. <laughs> <laughs> Too many chromosomes. Too many that's shapeshifts. That's offensive to people that don't understand. Guys, no, that's not This is offensive to people joke. that don't understand jokes. <laughs> you know, that would be actually kind of hilarious if after too many shapeshifts, I start getting like weird defects where it's just like... <laughs> Cat your, bear. Your DNA just starts breaking down from overstressing. <laughs> My bear gets wings from the mount. You, you just, just like eventually. Into, you, no, what would happen is you would just dissolve into water like that guy from the first X Men movie. <laughs> Do you remember uh, that? Yeah, I remember that. They that fuck was with his jeans, and then he just explodes into water. It's like that's terrifying. It, terrifying, but also completely probably wrong. I've also I've also seen the opposite of that in a movie. There's, I think it was a Jack. I think it was the Jackie Chan movie where he's like a spy. And like at the beginning of the movie, there's this guy that the bad guys are gonna kill. So like they have him drink water, and the it's like, and it's like, see, it's water that makes you thirsty. It's like that's genius. But then it, the, it gets darker than that because like then he he keeps getting thirstier, and then he eventually just falls over dead and collapses into dust. And like the bad guy picks up his hand and splits it in half and hands it to two, two different people, and it's just like dust inside. I think that there's supposed to be a reason to go down the side passage, but I don't think that reason exists anymore. Oh god, do you think they just nullified this entire part of the dungeon? Well, that that branch over to the left, yeah, I, I actually think so. Oh, blizzard. <laughs> yeah, if they don't have anything relevant there anymore, I mean, maybe to be they just fair, though, to shorten this the dungeon? dungeon used to really suck to get people for, as well as, like, just do. Because nobody knew and to, nobody I, had the keys. I had fun with this dungeon. I had fun this with dungeon, it. This dungeon... But I had no idea what I was doing. This dungeon and the one in Barrens were both ones where, like, we'd spend, like, four hours in here. Oh, And it was just Maradon? a fun adventure with friends. Yeah, they split Maradon into four parts. Uh, the one that we already did. Oh. In the oh. Barrens. That one. Okay. I'm bad, at, I'm bad at remembering names. But this and uh, that one, like, Wailing they're both Caverns. Just, those were, yeah, Wailing Caverns were the two, yeah. like, level 20-ish, just super long dungeons. And it, they were, like, they were an ordeal, and they were fun. It was just I cool remember. exploring everything. And, like, you'd every you'd, you'd all talk about, like, the secret quests you could find at the end of certain chains in various parts of the world outside that would get unlock, like, new things to do inside. 
I, I remember the, um, when leaving Dead Mines, there's always that, like, exit area that popped you out and there's some extra quests that nobody ever really looked at. It was like that. Yeah, but, the, like, for Welling Caverns and Nomergon, there was also, like, there was quest chains you had to do out in the world that would unlock new yeah. quest chain, quests to do in here. And otherwise, there were just, there, that somewhere, or somewhere else, there was just, like, a, that was just some boss that didn't do anything, or that was just a console that didn't seem to do anything. Nope. And it's because there was secretly quests for it. Woo! At this point, they've just like homogenized when, the crap out of it. Because they 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 uh, encourage exploration and investment yeah. and caring about things. Now they support mashing buttons until the bar gets higher. We <laughs> <laughs> or lower, kind of depending. Yet? It makes it feel slightly disingenuous to think that they're making. Uh, like Hearthstone decks based on dungeons from this game that are now like nerfed to shit. <laughs> Watch them just kind of suck. Very boring. Like, like they've already put out a Noxramas deck. I saw that. That was cool. I really should go back to playing that. Yeah. yeah. We should play we're... against each other. You would probably <laughs> oh. beat me considering I've committed a grand total of two hours to the game. Yeah. yeah. I haven't played that much of it either. I haven't played a lot of it, but I've played more than that. <laughs> I'm waiting for the Android tablet version to come out so I can grind for cards. Uh, I love my I love my gruff ass little oh. uh, Worgen voice. Like, I don't have enough energy. <laughs> I was curious for a second why I couldn't uh, open the door, and then I tried <laughs> opening the door. <laughs> what? It was, it was not a complicated process. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, this watch guy's out for the bombs, bombs. By the way, I forgot about that. I don't think the bombs are gonna be very effective though. No, they don't. They don't insta kill you anymore. I should disable Blade Fury for sure. There we go. Oh hey, the all the mobs guy. from outside are actually coming in to hang out. Weird. Uh oh. Oh shit! I remember that. That was actually like a problem. Like if you, in various parts of uh, WoW dungeons, if you didn't if you didn't clear all the mobs on the way to a boss, they would just charge at you when the, when you started fighting the boss. I kind of liked that. It made sense. It was scary. Like, you're you're you fighting their leader. Like now you pay. And that would be a wipe. That is, you don't come back from that. It's been a long time since I've wiped in a dungeon, except for I was doing a heroic in Pandaria. I've been wiping. I, I've been wiping in dungeons all week. Because destiny what? is hard. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I kicked. I kicked his welding beam. I got to kick something that was a boss. They usually don't let me do that. Are we There's Nimmergoon. Kind of interesting that there's multiple capital cities that are just obliterated in World of Armor, Warcraft. Armor, intellect, strength. Yep. Oh, I can get that in a level. Got to report huh. to Commando Han Eibel. The Eibel Eibels. <laughs> you think he's guilty of libel? <laughs> you think his family appreciates that joke? No. 